So what you can also do is you can mask out different parts of video inside of Adobe Premiere Elements. So over here, you can see that I have this video footage right here. And in order to mask out different parts of the video, I'm going to go around under edit right here, just like this, not under edit, but under effects right here. And over here, you can see that opacity is an option. And over here, you can see that draw is an option as well. So if I were to go around over here, you can select out rectangular shape right here, which allows you to go around and you can see that this is what you have. You can go around and you can see that you can drag out the points right here and then make a selection right here. Just like this, you can go around and make a selection to a particular object right here, just like this right here. So what you can also do is you can go around over here and then expand this out right here and add in a feather to the selection right here, just like this. You can add in feather right here and change around the opacity of the mask as well. And only that part uh, is shown right here. You can similarly go around and expand this and then um, uh, go around and change this out as you can see right here. So let's just go around over here and expand this right here, just like this. And this is what you have. If I were to go around and press the play button, then you can see that only that part plays up right here. And the rest of the parts of the video becomes transparent. So now what you can also do is you can go around and add in a circle right here. And the circle is added in as you can see right here. You can go around and click and drag this out right here and make changes out to the circle right here just like this. So that is what you have. We can also go around and expand this out right here. So let me just go around onto selection and change around the feather over here and then change around the expansion just like this. And that is what you have as you can see right there. So that is what you have. You can go around and add into the selection as well. Apart from that, you can also go around onto pen tool right here. And then what happens is that you will be able to go around and make selection right here by clicking and dragging right here just like this. So in the pen tool, what happens is that uh, you can see that these are the Bezier curves and you can make um, the selections manually over here. For example, let me just go around and make another selection by using pen tool right here. You can click uh, to go around the finer point, click to make a straight line right here, click and drag to create uh, a curve right here and you get this Bezier handle right here as you can see. Click right here and then what happens is that it continues and click right here just like this. So it does take a bit of practice right here to go around and make shapes by using Bezier Curve right here. And then this is what you have. And there's different options over here as well. Like you can go around and invert this out right here. That is invert out the selection right over here as well. Or let me just go around and invert it again. You can also go around and delete this out as you can see right here. You can delete out selections right here. Or you can go around and make a copy of the selection as well. And then what happens is that you'll get a copy. So you can go around and then copy this out right here, just like this as well. So that is how you can go around and then utilize the masking effect inside of Adobe Premiere Elements, uh, which you can access under opacity uh, so that you can mask out different parts of uh, video uh, inside of Adobe Premiere Elements. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.